this is a this is a type of jelly mushroom. Mm -hmm. Tremella is the name, and it's sort of woodier, so that's yeah. kind of a relative of it. Ew. 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 Yeah. Like it's like the yeah, it's like stuff it's jelly. in the uh, in the ice packs. Okay. Yeah. Um, it does. It does. It looks like a woodier, but just clear. Catch. <laughs> 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 so this is lycoperidon, which wow. means wolf farts. So this is, I guess, theoretically what a wolf fart looks like. Did you like marinate them? <laughs> <laughs> this is the indigo milk cap. Oh yeah, you can give me these. Now, we need a knife. There you go. Don't bruise it anywhere you... Watch it when she pushes it. Now cut it, cut it by the uh, top, at the top. Gosh, I don't want to, it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another Where? One. Right against, yeah, right against the uh, cookies. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, there you go. See that? So the indigo milk cap, and it bleeds just slightly blue. Just enough that you could actually do a tattoo if you wanted it's, to. It's not really slight. I mean, if we break the cap, you'll see it. Yeah. Um, Edible. Yeah. Gosh, it's so yeah, it's, yeah these, uh, are, these are good. You had like three pounds of those and you, you made a stock out of it. Would you get a blue stock? No, this in, uh, by the time gray. we get to the car, this will turn a really revolting uh, khaki green uh, wherever it's been bruised. That's yeah. cool. Wow. And uh, and I, my experience, they don't taste that good. They actually are just more, much more beautiful. Than Look at her hands. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's the first time I find this this year. Cool. Hmm. There's a lactarius, and we're going to see it lactating. When I break it, it lactates white, but that white quickly changes to this bright lime green. And now is that it from oxidizing? Yeah. Is that edible? Well, uh, not recommended. Or in England, they say edible with reservations. This doesn't mean calling ahead. It means that most people can't tolerate it. This is a bolete, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick it and show you why. It, what makes it a bolete? It comes up like an umbrella, like a regular cap and stem mushroom. But underneath, there are no gills. It's a sponge. If you split it in half, you can actually see that that sponge is pores packed together that are individual lines. If you see those parallel running down, and every pore is dropping spores, just like gills would do. And uh, this may be familiar if you've ever picked uh, or bought porcini, the sep, you know, the king bully, they're all names and synonyms for the European version. And I've seen people pick baskets of this hoping that they have porcini. And then they get home and <laughs> maybe they cook it up, or maybe they finally take a bite and they realize they picked what's called the bitter bully, because this is just bitter. And sometimes I, t I tell myself, you know, it's kind of bitter like chocolate. I wonder if I sweetened it, what it would be like. <laughs> but um, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> so here's another bolete. The trick, cool thing about this one is that it will actually bruise blue just like you would if you um, got bruised. Except this one doesn't take a day to show a bruise uh, blue. It just takes a few seconds. So as I draw on it, you can see the pattern That's coming cool. up. Yeah. Alan was here. <laughs> yeah, I can write notes to people. Sometimes I pretend like with, that I'm communicating with the mushroom and that I, like, I'm having it do like uh, like a seance, automatic writing, and I might ask it like, can I eat you? And then I go like, uh, <laughs> yes. I don't know. I don't have the best handwriting under trance, but can you read? That's supposed to say yes. <laughs>